वॉट उषा स्टोरी डज इज इंस्पायर्स दैट अगर सब अपना अपना काम करेंगे तभी चीज़ें आगे होंगी इट्स नॉट जस्ट द कमिंग ऑफ एज स्टोरी ऑफ उषा मेहता आई थिंक इट कुड बी द कमिंग ऑफ एज स्टोरी ऑफ सारा अली खान एंड वट आई एम सो लकी टू हैव इज एन अपॉर्चुनिटी टू शो पीपल दैट सारा सारा है Yeah. सारा के अंदर ये सारे गुण हैं हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम टू ओ टी टी प्ले शो रील एंड टूडे आई एम सो एक्साइटेड बिकॉज आई हैव सारा अली खान हुज बिजी प्रमोटिंग टू फिल्म बट टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट ए वतन मेरे बल वेलकम टू ओ टी टी प्ले थैंक यू यू नो बैक इन टू थाउजेंड सिक्स वेन रंग दे बसंत ही रिलीज इट इट हैड अ टैग लाइन कॉल अ न्यू जनरेशन अवेकन्स बिकॉज इट शोड द स्टोरी ऑफ भगत सिंह इन अ वे विच विच नो बडी सॉ and it's it's something which you know a generation kind of realize oh this is how they fought at that time today we are uh, in a in a today we have a generation who are learning about history but it's far uh, like it's far away from reality and realizing it through history books or something how do you see uh, the character of usha mehta uh, like preserve uh, like show the new generation of what the freedom fight was back like 70 years back i think that uh, when it comes to the indian freedom struggle there is a slightly limited view of what people think the sacrifices made were yeah. it wasn't just masculine brute strength it wasn't just gunfire it wasn't just physical there was femininity there were women there was mental thought there was mental sacrifice there was emotional strength there was fortitude there was a lot more and i think what usha represents is that boon boon se banta sagar you know aaj ki tarikh mein bhi it's not just about 1942 even today there are so many people that are not pushing the envelope because they like koi aur kar lega you know what usha story does is inspires that अगर सब अपना अपना काम करेंगे तभी चीज़ें आगे होंगी वी आर ऑल टुगेदर एज ए यूनिट एज अ कंट्री रिस्पॉन्सिबल एंड आई थिंक दैट वॉट इट ट्राइज टू डू इज इट ट्राइज टू इन्वोक दैट लेवल ऑफ सेक्रीफाइसिंग स्पिरिट दैट एवरी इंडिविजुअल शुड हैव इन वॉट एवर फील्ड दे आर इन स्पेशली वुमेन स्पेशली आस एज अ कंट्री बिकॉज वी हैव द फायर एंड वी हैव द स्पिरिट इट्स जस्ट ऑल हियर एंड इट्स टू बी आउट देर यू नो like for you as an artist like you completed 5 year 5 years mm-hmm. you have been working for almost 6 years now how does it feel to be part of a project at this stage of your career when when you have i mean you at you have varied of genres but this is something which is less explored and this is something which is less explored overall like people talk about war films and everything but in today's time and everything but how does it feel as an actor to be a part of a project at this point in time in your career i think it's the need of the hour because it's not just the coming of age story of usha mehta i think it could be the coming of age story of sara ali khan and that's what i'm really hoping for it to be i think that uh, the time has come for me to be able to do different different kinds of work i think the time has come where i don't need to play on the back foot anymore yeah. i need to have strength conviction and confidence in my own work and i think this film gives me the opportunity to be able to tell a story that i really think deserves to be told yeah and how do you balance uh, by portraying this character while also bringing about your uh, artistic aspirations because of course i'm sure when you were reading about her and when you were uh, when you were enacting it you might have also learned a lot like even discovered a lot about our country as well 100% and i think that kannan sir is the answer to your question because it was kannan sir whose simplicity whose softness whose gentleness has just allowed me to maybe tap into my softness my gentleness because like i told you usha's story of sacrifice and bravery is a story of internal strength and i think working with kannan sir sara got that internal strength in herself and uh, do you think with evatan mere vatan uh, there is a kind of balance now you can create with you know unconventional roles and the commercial uh, a- aspirations that people expect from you uh, like you like beat zara hatke zara bachke or beat kuli number 1 or ratrangire and now this one which is like i said quite far away from what you have played so far. i think the idea as an actor is that we are very lucky to live lives vicariously and live our own versions of it's like dreaming and living vicariously all at the same time and imagining but actually doing yeah so it's actually a great job 
and I think that I'm just privileged to be able to do it and I want to be able to do different different kinds of things. If I can get the chance to shoot for Murder Mubarak and Avatan in the same month, if I can be Bambi and Usha mm -hmm. and then I can promote both these films in the same month, I mean, what else do I want? Do you think your body language changes when you're promoting either of the films? I think films? so. Yeah. I think so. Like you're here, you're very... I think it has a lot to do with my clothes. Yeah. I was actually joking also, not joking, it's actually true. But I was telling my stylist that I change. You know, you, you'll make me wear a leopard print jacket with, uh, with homie Ade Janya and I'll like try to be funny, witty, intelligent and sexy. And then you'll give me a sari and I'm suddenly talking about Gambirtha and Stirka. Yeah. But the truth is that they're both me. And what I'm so lucky to have is an opportunity to show people that Sara Sara hai. Yeah. Sara ke andar ye sare gun hai. Sara can be this si soft, simple girl. I am that person. She can also be loud, funny bindas. I am that person. Now, what can I do? And yeah, people are going to see it in like a, within a week's uh, frame I'd like of to believe time. So. Yeah. You know, uh, you're one of the actors of this generation who have, who have had multiple OTT releases since the pandemic began and everything. Like, did you get a chance or did you give it a thought to, to study or see how audience perceives uh, your uh, performances, be it on Zara Hatke, Zara Bachke and before that it was OTT, like after that also you're having a couple of OTT releases. Did you kind of give it a thought that how people see when it comes to a theatrical release or an OTT? as a performer? No, no, because I think that if a film gets love or doesn't get love, the medium doesn't affect me as much personally. I think that's more the producer's department if I can say so. I think yeah. that for an actor, if you do honest work, if your performance is good, if you've done work with sincerity, mostly all that doesn't matter, actually honesty. If your work is honest and it connects, then you'll get the love and if it doesn't, you won't. I think it's as simple as that. Yeah, I remember during Atrangire when we spoke, you said filmmaking is not math, it's not uh, 2 plus 2 is equal to 4. It's really it's, not. Yeah. It's, it's definitely not. Everyone has their and own. And 2 plus 2 is much bigger than 4 because everybody comes together with their spirit, with their positivity, with their belief, with their karma, with their work and then they create together. So 2 plus 2 will never be 4, it will have to be greater. Yeah. And how do you handle the criticism because even when there is an appreciation to your uh, projects there is also a section of people or there is someone who see it beyond you know the commercial aspect or beyond be it Atrangiri or Zara Hatke there were a uh, section of people who had their own inhibitions or had their reservations that maybe they didn't like it that way how do you see it uh, as a performer when when you see that probably like it's a 60 40 or 80 20 I don't mind at all I, I like the fact that I'm I, I'm in a very uh, subjective field I, I mean aapko acha lage, aapko acha nahi lagega, and that's your view you know I think firstly so many things beauty lies in the eye of the beholder yeah. so as long as I know my vision of the work is my vision of the work and it shouldn't be tainted by your vision of the work if I feel I've done an honest good job, like I feel I did an honest good job in Atrangi. Now whether you like it or not is your prerogative, you know. Yeah. What then sometimes, sabki apni kismat hoti hai na eventually. Yeah. You know, uh, talking about Evert and Merivert, this is about courage, resilience and uh, you know, preserving history of this country and everything. Now at uh, like it's just a couple of weeks uh, I have before the release, what do you think the audience will take away when it when it releases in these aspects like courage is because it is an inspiration she was an inspirational figure and people are going to discover i mean people might have googled about her after the trailer or announcement but now you're going to get to see it in that two hour uh, i would really like to hope so because i think anonymity and you know this idea of gumnami us chakkar mein bahut si aisi kahaniyan hain jo mujhe bhi nahi pata hain and I think that it is so important for these stories to be told because in them lies a bravery that is very relevant even today. Even today, you know, we as people are searching for things outside of us when we have it within us. It, you have to derive your own strength. This is a story of that. This is a story of pushing the boundary. This is a story of thinking outside of the box. This is a story of bravery that doesn't need biceps. This is a story of inner confidence and fortitude. This is a story of perseverance. This is a story of karo ya maro and of course the stakes will be different because we are azad. We are a satantra bharat already. So I can't imagine, I can't take you to a space where 
you have to imagine that we don't have freedom because you yeah. can't do that yeah. but i am saying even beyond that no matter what the stakes are no matter what your personal ambitions are do or die as a mantra should be everybody's mantra and i think this film can inspire women children the youth of the country today to adopt this mantra even now you know uh, lastly uh, i want to ask you have someone who has spoken about your failures very openly as as success at this point i want to ask like from learning from these films we have done so far what is something that you don't want to do it, like in your career i don't want to do some rubbish calculation about what you think i should do that has been my biggest problem as a performer as a human being as an actor my i do some rubbish math ki inko ye dekhna hai inko sirf mere jokes pasand hai aisa aaj maine ek shayari nahi ki hai no interviewer is looking bored aaj maine ek joke nahi mara kisi ne pucha bhi nahi kyunki zarurat nahi padi to i think that you yourself and it's not just for me it's for everybody out there we limit ourselves we think that this is all i have to offer and no more i'm not going to do that anymore yeah thank you so much it was thank great you. talking to you all the best thank you.